The Airbus A350 is one of the newest long-range wide-body twin-engine airliners and was designed by Airbus in the response to the Boeing 787 Dreamliners. The Airbus A350 is one of the most anticipated airliners that are currently in development for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Recently, AnyBuilds updated the community on their latest developments about their A350 project. So let's take a look at the update and jump straight into the video. If you're not familiar with any builds in the world of flight sim third party product development, they are still reasonably new to the flight sim industry. They first started creating modifications for prepared version 3 and 4 platforms, creating dynamic lighting and GSX profiles. Like many flight sim development companies, any builds was created by flight simmers that make products for flight simmers. The team's first big project was the Airbus A300 on X plane. This was their first real aircraft release which was a great success and it led to the Airbus A300 version 2 then on to the Beluga and the 310. The team went on and then expanded to Flight Sim Scenery as Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 launch and then on to today four or five years later from starting any builds team have done a bunch of close collaboration releases with Microsoft Flight Simulator with releases such as the Airbus A310, the A320 Neo and a bunch of local legend aircraft such as the B17, the DO31 and just released today as of filming this video, the Scout Wasp which is the team's first helicopter. The team has been developing the Airbus A350 alongside all of these other projects and recently we received the first detailed update about the Airbus A350 project. The Airbus A350 is one of the newest airliners out there in the real world, which makes it tough for aircraft developers as the data required about the aircraft is pretty hard to source, which is typically common with a new aircraft. The AnyBuilds team has combated this with assembling a team of real world experts for the Airbus A350, ranging from engineers, pilots, and others that have access to information of the aircraft. AnyBuilds also mentioned that now the A350 is about 10 years old, the data is a little easier to source, but when it comes to having gaps on data that they need to use for systems, the team has rented a full motion A350 simulator for multiple hours, which has allowed them to capture and take video footage of all the missing details that was needed to complete this project. Any builds expectation on this A350 project, they said this will far exceed any detail, anything else that the team has produced so far. Jumping into the aircraft's update when it comes to the aircraft exterior the team released a teaser video of the A350 alongside this development update which provided a visual previews of the A350 model although this is a brief teaser it does offer glimpses into the aircraft's exterior and interior highlighting the level of detail the team is aiming for. The A350 will see some of the same features that were seen in the A300 release such as the modeling of the engine interiors with the cowlings that can be open and closed for visual inspection. These will form part of the maintenance options and other abnormal situations that will require the need to be managed by the aircraft CFB. The team mentioned an example of some of those features, a brake wear indicators where the panels need to be open to inspect the conditions of the brake wear. The team has taken one of their latest features that was released on the Airbus A300, which was a dynamic tire wear and added this to their Airbus A350 and then taking this feature a little further introducing dynamic wear and tear on the actual aircraft. The more you fly the Airbus A350 the more worn the aircraft will visually look. Paint will start peeling away from the rivets, painted screws will slowly be replaced and updated with unpainted replacement screws, sealant around access panels will become more pronounced and dynamic oil and dirt streaks will appear around where the leaks are most prevalent on the aircraft. Dirt and grime on the flaps and other control surfaces will appear over time. This is a great touch as not every simmer wants to fly an aircraft that look like it just come off the production line over at Airbus. Any build showcase some of the work in progress with the dynamic wear and tear, showcasing a screenshot that featured a mild wearing level on the wing. The update did showcase some other extra shots of the A350 fuselage and their development detail going into the whole aircraft model. 
A big thank you to Protest Sims for sponsoring this YouTube video. Their products enhance your current flight simulator hardware by turning your flight controls into something closer to the real thing. The team makes different add-ons for flight controls such as Honeycomb, SciTech and Velocity over a variety of different aircraft including Boeing, BAE, Cessna Citation, VisionJet, TBM just to mention a few. The current add-on I'm using at the moment is the Protest Sims new dual action Boeing 737 add-on for the Honeycomb Bravo, which features a detent flap and speed brakes. This really improves the immersion and realism of my flights. For Ozflight Sim viewers, you can use this code AUSFS on at checkout for a 15% discount on all Protest Sim products. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can check out their page and a big thank you to our friends over at Protest Sims for sponsoring this video. If you are enjoying the content we create here on the channel, or if it's your first time watching a video, or life's just too busy and you haven't had time to hit that subscribe button, we deliver each and every week the best news, announcements, and update news for all the big releases for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and 2020. Thank you very much for your support by subbing to the channel. Now this is where you do your part, is where you click the subscribe button. Nothing's worse than that and making it really awkward between both of us right now as no one really really likes especially me an awkward moment and especially now so thank you very much for your support for hitting that sub button taking a look at the airbus a350's cockpit the team mentions it's coming to life as the team have been working on its systems again not much was mentioned about the aircraft systems other than they are a work in progress when it comes to the cockpit, the level of detail continues. Everything from simple screws to the main textures, any builds said they've been perfectly curated and applied to the model. The use of a PBR and detail materials is present on every single element of the cockpit using a newly learned technique to save a lot of memory while retaining a level of maximum detail. When the Airbus A350 packages releases, it will come with the A350-900 with the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84s and the A350-1000 with the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97s. The team also has custom data for exhaust temps, fuel flow for all the phases of flight, N1 values for all the phases of flight, and the THT percentage data which is specific to the modern Airbus family. The A350-900 variant will come with both the old and new winglet types. Other features and systems that are planned for the aircraft that is currently a work in progress or not started are advanced navigation systems such as brake to vacate, final landing systems, onboard airport navigation systems, nearly all the MCDU functions including the secondary flight plans and pilot waypoints will be able to be replicated in the MCDU. Auto step clients will be included, failures and challenges, the CPDLC and the A cars will be implemented implemented and also the Airbus A350 will have performance calculators. From the looks of it, the A350 will be both stunning visually with detailed systems. However, the systems seem to have a lot of development days are left ahead for the project at the moment. Any builds indicated they will cover other areas in future updates such as the system's EFB functionality and new features that haven't been seen in previous other any builds aircraft. When it comes to a release date, there was no mention of when the Airbus A350 will be released. The aim of this update was to provide an insight to the current state of development of the Airbus A350 project. We will of course be watching very closely here on the channel for future updates that will be revealed over the coming months from the team. So if you'd like to stay up to date with all the current airliner developments, including the Innibuilds Airbus A350 project, be sure to hit that little red subscribe button we plan to keep you up to date with all the big announcements and updates and flight sim news as we mentioned each and every week. Thank you very much for your support and we would love to hear your thoughts about the Innibuilds Airbus A350 project in the comments below. We love reading them and we will see you in another video really soon.